join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series review. We've got a nice chunky one this time. We've got the Droid Deca Destroyer Droid. And uh, yeah, people aren't joking about the size of this box. It's a, it's a whopper. It's an absolute whopper. And it needs to be to house this big roly-poly boy. Look at him looking at the camera there. So yeah, you see me. I'm handsome. So yeah, Droid Deca, Destroyer Droid, really looking forward to, to getting this one. I was uh, commenting on Daniel East 1000's uh, review. And I don't know if I want to get two of them just yet, but um, yeah, this, having this in hand might very well change my mind. I was just going to stick with the one, mainly just for space preservation, because this thing is huge. Um, but yeah, he's number four. It says on the back here, complete with twin blasters on their arms, Droideka, a destroyer droids designed with one goal in mind, Annihilation. The Droideka completely envelop itself in a globe of protective energy via its compact deflector shield generators. So that's very, very cool. We're just going to get straight into it. You bust him open, let's take a look at the figure. All right, here is the, uh, the Droideka. Destroyer droids out of the packaging, wow. Wow, this uh, this is going to be a contender for a lot of people's figure of the year, at least Black Series figure of the year. I'd, yeah, it, it is still very soon, but uh, yeah, I dare say this guy will make an appearance in my in my top ten this year. I think it's uh, you know straight out of the gate. It's just its size is. I've had to I've had to pull the camera back a little bit just to compare. There's the there's the B1 Battle Droid, the Droid Eka next to it. Yes, that's that's insane. Now, I'm, one thing I'm sort of dealing with is just how much articulation this guy has. It's uh, it's the one thing that I think is going to be an actual struggle to to count and get through. But we're gonna damn try it. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, firstly, you know, obviously we've had a look at the packaging. I like to go through. The accessories which he has none of he doesn't he needs no accessories this guy is an accessory he's an accessory to the droid droid army that's what he is he's an accessory to count dooku he's an accessory to any other separatist so i'm i'm excited to learn a little bit more about this guy as we get along with the review his head all right, so I don't know where to start, guys. There's so much going on here. So he's got the three legs, little bulbous, got the little bulbous booty under there. Got his short little shield generator. That's his. That's his little bum cheeks. So they articulate. And we've got the uh, the sort of the back spine piece, the back, the the mullet, if you will. And we have the head. Which, if you look eye, eye, mouth, he's, he's a little face. He's a little face. Um, and these two little parts of the shell here. So yeah, it's uh, it's there's a lot to take in here. Um, I'm trying to get him to sort of just sort of stand up, a nice, even, even placement here. So we're going to start from the bottom. We'll make our way up. So there is an articulated piece here on this back leg. And there is also that part there. So that will tuck in. And then we have on the front legs, we have this added hinge. We have this tucks in. This tucks in. As we move up, we have the... the the little bum cheeks they sort of wrap around the front there and then we've got the arms which there's there's a hinge there at the wrist I guess and there's another hinge there with you know talk about attention to detail he's got the little can't think of the name you know what I'm talking about that thing then there is a swivel there at the top 
there is a hinge there, there is another swivel there. If we move along here, there is a bit of a swivel there, there is a hinge in that sort of shoulder. So we're already sort of working out how to tuck this guy up. But you know, I'm gonna have, I'm probably gonna have to resort to some images and stuff to get this guy to fold up how he's meant to. Then when we get in here. Now there's, in his sort of back spine part here, there's articulation there. There's another articulation point there. Far out, guys. This is nuts. Um, yeah, there's some hingy stuff going on up in the top of the head here, under the back, which I've yet to work out. Exactly what's going on. <laughs> so maybe that sort of tucks in there a little bit more. Maybe that goes down first. I think we're getting there. Yeah, I'm going to have to resort to some... You know, there's a lot of lot happening up here underneath the, uh, underneath the head. So I'm going to have to spend a bit of time playing with this guy. He's, uh, he's a very cool, interesting looking figure. All credit to the to the engineers and the designers at Hasbro getting this guy looking so damn cool. My lord. This is a special figure, guys. This is this is really, really cool. At least in my opinion. You can sort of get that. Rock back. It's like a transformer. Yeah, just getting a really good look at this guy. It's uh, it's it's really nice. So I'm sort of a little bit cautious about this little joint here at the top there. It's literally the tiniest little ball and socket. Um, yeah, I suggest probably being a little bit cautious with that one. It almost looks like it could slide out. Oh, you're kidding me! It does. Yeah, I don't. I was like I said, I was watching Daniel East One Thousands review. I don't know if I caught that. So there you go, that comes down. Okay. And that sort of just, yeah, slides back in, locks into place. Not all the way, but... Okay, okay. We're talking. Yeah. <laughs> this is... This is nuts, guys. This is an absolutely... Inc ridiculous. Ridiculous in a good way. The sort of main concern is those legs will sort of get a little bit loose at some point, but you know there are there are ways to repair that, and you get a bit of joint tightener. There is such a thing out there. He looks sick. I'm, I'm yeah. This is awesome. And I'll just pop something out. Looks like it'll just sort of lock back in. I'll do that off camera just because um That's alright, I got it. I got it. It's all good. We're all fine here. Everything's fine. Uh, yeah. He's going to need to sit down and take a load off, I think. It's uh, hard work. Paint me like one of your French droidicas. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is a this is this has definitely been one of the trickiest ones to review, especially straight out the box. You know, not having spent much time with it. Yeah, there's still still some stuff to work out with this figure, I think, which I'm looking forward to doing. I'm gonna pop, pop that back part out now. Yeah, sort of lock in the top. But yeah, some seriously hardcore engineering stuff going on with this one. So yeah, there's countless articulation on this one. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that for now before I get frustrated with it. I don't want to damage it. But he is a very, very impressive looking figure to work out how he works. So yeah, I appreciate you guys checking this out. It's been cool to sort of look over all the little bits and pieces of the details. It's a, it's a wild, it's a wild thing. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this with me and exploring this insanely cool Black Series action figure. Yeah, I'll be back with some more very soon. Thanks again for tuning in. Appreciate it. See you next time. May the Force be with you, always. <laughs>